Mars School, Morong National High School is proud to present another lesson video presentation. I am Ma'am Edna from the TLE Department. Good day, my 10th graders in San Cibar. Congratulations! We are now in the third quarter in travel services. I hope everyone is safe at home enjoying distance learning approach. Though we are in this hard situation, I pray that each one of you continue to be a disciplined one, God-fearing, and always determined to develop yourselves in many aspects in your teenage lives. So remember our school's motto, and that is, Ako ay disciplinado. So this is our first week in the third quarter, and our lesson is entitled, The Trouble Management Cycle. Learning Outcome 1, Arrange Flight Etherinary Using a Map and a Planner. In your printed modules, there are general objectives, but for this week, we will be focusing on the Learning Outcome 1, which is Arrange Flight Etherinary Using a Map and a Planner. That at the end of the lessons, you are expected to achieve the following objectives. Objective 1, Describe the functions involved in managing travel arrangements for leisure travel. Objective 2. Plan a flight itinerary using a map and flight planner. And Objective 3. Accomplish a booking card for travel, a tour voucher, exchange order, and purchase order. Before we go on discussing the entire lesson, be reminded with our agreed 4L classroom rules. If one, look for comfort place at home. Two, listen carefully. Three, list down important matters or questions you want to ask later. And four, love yourself by wearing discipline in answering the test and at all times, your learning is our objective. Make sure that you have your paper and pen for the pretest. Number one, which of the following is not an aim of counter counseling? Letter A concludes counter sales, which are transactions captured by the travel counselors or counter staff. Letter B provides information and recommends suitable and attractive products. Letter C suggests itineraries and ensures proper travel documentation. And letter D select direct non stop flights from one point to another until final. The answer is letter D. Selects direct non stop flights from one point to another until final. Number two, it is a complete record of all requirements of the passenger and provides a history of actions taken, confirmation, option dates, and relevant information. A. Booking card. B. Eternary card. C. Passport. D. None of the above. The answer is letter A. Booking card. A travel agent should have the following skills in the 24-hour and time zones except A. Convert time in this system B. Understand international time based on the words 24 time zones C. Understand that every degree of longitude example, the vertical lines running from the north to south or vice versa, in all words maps represents one hour time difference from the other. Letter D, the arrival and departure of the airlines are always expressed in international time. The answer is letter D, local time and not international time. Number 4, it is the process by which cities to be visited are arranged in the desired sequence to conform with the passenger's desired travel plans, starting from the point of origin to the destinations to be visited in the desired sequence. A. Counter counseling. B. Flight itinerary planning. C. Arrival departure planning. D. Crisscrossing. And the answer is letter B, flight itinerary planning. 
subscribe. What does GMT stand for? A. Gold Mean Time B. Rich Mean Time C. Gross Mean Time D. Go Mean Time The answer is letter B. Greenwich Mean Time Number 6. This is the flight schedule requested by the client's itinerary. A. Flight itinerary. B. Estimated time of arrival. C. Estimated time of departure. D. Passenger's number record. And the answer is letter A. Flight itinerary. Number 7. The name of a flight that operates between two cities and makes a change online or interline in one or more cities en route. A. Non-stop flight. B. Direct flight. C. Connecting flight. D. Change of gauge or equipment flight. And the answer is letter A. Non-stop flight. Number 8. Referred to as an online flight that operates between two cities with a change of aircraft at an international city. A. Non-stop flight. B. Direct flight. C. Connecting flight. D. Change of gauge or equipment flight. The answer is letter B. Direct flight. Number 9. In the flight itinerary planning, the following skills are required except A. Identifying the city players involved B. Knowing world geography is not necessary C. Reading the maps D. Having an idea of the distance involved And the answer is letter B. Knowing the world geography is very necessary Number 10 is true or false. Crisscrossing and backtracking should be avoided in arranging a travel. And the answer is true. So for this video, I have sent private messages to some friends. Some are native of Morong who experienced local and international travel. They answered my questions through private message. But one of them granted my request to take a video of herself while answering my questions so these questions will probably give you link or idea on what is our lesson all about so i want to say thank you miss emmy valdez miss rubilin conception and mr mon Deliena. how to plan the best trip of life this is our job in the travel services Vacations are one of the most important and memorable parts of people's lives. Going on a trip allows them to take a much needed break from their work life and spend a great time with their family and loved ones. Planning a trip can be both enjoyable and a tad bit hectic, but with an organized step-by-step -step planning, you will be all set to make your next getaway fun and budget-friendly. How it works? We will find out in this requested video made by our very own Miss Rubilin Concepcion who is a graduate of this school and a certified public accountant by profession who works with private accounting firms where traveling is just one of her many achievements. She is now working in the accounting office here in our local government unit. She sent me photos of some of her local and international journeys using the aid of travel services to all her journeys and trips. Good day to everyone and thank you very much Mom Edna for inviting me to be your guest today. So for a question, why do I travel? So first I travel because of business trips. My work requires me to do so. And most of the time, I travel because of nature. Of course, this is uh, this serves as my reward for myself after I work hard on my job. This is also my way on how to distress, recharge, and enjoy. So, what are the important considerations in traveling? So, first, you must have a budget. Of course, you cannot travel without money. 
then the second one is the itineraries for the planning um, I recommend to get a travel agency because they will arrange all your bookings like flights, hotels, and activities then for those who want to uh, visit one or more countries like the Tri-Cities um, good for 3 to 5 days they can also arrange that then lastly uh, that need to be considered in traveling is the location and time of seasons of course the location should be safe um, there should be no political or armed conflicts for the type of seasons um, you might be interested in autumn spring what else winter so winter season so all of that they can arrange um, or they can suggest best places to visit what are the considerations in choosing the agency first is the package that they are offering should include promise and discounts and it should also be budget friendly the next one is their plan or arranged tours should be no crisscrossing and no backtracking. Um, sometimes even if we get travel agency, there is still problem that we encounter, like the hotel or the place to stay. Uh, the hotel that they book for us are different from the actual. Sometimes the hotel is already occupied by someone else. But these are only uh, or some of the problems um, that can be fixed. And I still encourage to get a travel agency for smoother transactions and hassle-free. To show you is another successful personality from Morong Bataan. She is Miss Amy Valdez. She travels a lot and enjoys the services of travel agencies, saving her time and money because of these services but when travel agency failed to give her good services she is eliminating this agency and looking for a better one so to avoid this satisfaction of clients we need to know how to arrange flight itinerary using a map and a planner a friend from USA sent me his experience of having wrong spelling of his name in the travel agency and that made him uncomfortable about it. This is how we make people happy, so beautiful travel memories should not be ruined by mismanaged trips. Beautiful travel memories should be kept with sweet moments. Beautiful travel memories should be worth remembering. So. Be of good service and make their vacation, holiday, money, and time invest in traveling worthwhile. What are the common problems of the travel agency in the flight itinerary plan? So based on our interviews, mistake on personal information like spelling of names, hotel accommodations where the guests are already there in the hotel but the room is still occupied. Some trips are delayed, so this will ruin the guest schedule. So we must answer the questions like, do travelers enjoy the services of the travel agencies on how they are satisfied with the travel agencies they get into? Are their flights logically arranged? Did they experience any problem in arranging their flights? This is now the lesson proper in the travel management cycle. Our job starts in counter counseling and then reservations and confirmation and then fair calculations and then ticketing and then documentation and the last phase is analyzing all the data from the discussion in order to present improved reports for the next step. And when it's done, then counter counseling starts again. So for this particular week, our lesson will be dealing with counter counseling only. And for reservation, confirmation, fair calculation, ticketing, and documentation will be discussed 
next lessons. The Travel Operations Department is the core of the TMC or Travel Management Company or Travel Agency business. It engages in the efficient and effective delivery of the organization's service as partners or agents of travel suppliers. So this lesson will dwell on the travel operations of the organization. The operations department functions are divided into five, namely counter counseling, which is our topic for this week, and then reservation, fair calculation, ticketing, and documentation. The players of the operation departments are the manager, the travel supervisor, the documentation supervisor, the travel counselors or counter staff, the reservations and ticketing officers, and license officer. The managerial and supervisory job functions vary depending on the size of the organizations and the company's policies, while the line functions of the operation staff remain practically the same regardless of the travel agency's size. Counter counseling aims to conclude counter sales which are transactions captured by the travel counselors or counter staff, accomplish booking cards for travel, provide information and recommend suitable and attractive products, and suggest itineraries and ensure proper travel documentation. What are the tasks involved in the counter counseling? Through continuous research, listing down of travel updates, creating brochure or booking cards as part of marketing, promoting your travel services through a fine flight itinerary plan. So our job starts here. So in our previous lessons, you've been doing, creating, developing brochures, right? So that the uh, lessons is connected to this lesson. What is flight itinerary planning? Flight itinerary planning is the process by which cities to be visited are arranged in the desired sequence to conform with the passenger's desired travel plans, starting from the point of origin to the destinations to be visited in the desired sequence. Here are some important points in arranging flight itinerary. Number one, identify the city pair or two places involved, the origin or destination, where the sector begins and where it ends. Example, a round trip journey will have two city pair like Manila, Singapore and Singapore, Manila. Once city pairs are identified, select suitable flights between the city pairs on the basis of schedule like the estimated time of departure and estimated time of arrival, and of course, the frequency or the day of the week. To cite you a concrete example, travelers who have Monday to Friday work and plan to have a weekend getaway to nearby countries like Hong Kong, Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, China, Macau, Vietnam, etc. They need to confirm if they can go back to work on Monday or what any day. Time of departure and arrival are very important according to what they decide. Number two is good knowledge of the world geography. Airline flight geography and how to be oriented by a map are essential in itinerary planning. Applying your skills and knowledge acquired in your Araling Pandipunan subject on different countries and beautiful historical places are worth to be visited. Okay, next is knows how to read the map. Again, applying your accord skills and knowledge and reading the map is needed. Remembering your lesson in science on how to read a map. But luckily, in today's technology, these are all available in the internet where suggested countries' places are posted. Just read the map and the nearby countries 
then you can easily suggest places to visit if the clients have no idea yet or the clients lay down their travel budget as far as time and money are concerned. So it is an advantage that the travel agency is knowledgeable specifically in reading the map. Like the top portion represents the north unless an arrow indicates that point of the compass. The left side of the page is west. The right side is east. And the bottom side is south. Now, having that skill is already a basic advantage. Okay, next is have an idea of the distance involved. This is now also available in the internet. If we want to know the travel distance between two cities, the Google knows it. So, no problem with this. Travel agency works hand in hand with the technology anyway. If you do not use technology, we will be left behind with the rest of the promising travel agencies in town. The simplest procedure is to select direct non-staff flight from one point to another until final destination. However, it is not always that simple. Sometimes there are no direct flights from a point of origin. So next is, find flights to the desired destination to next city. This is known as hub city or transfer airport. Example, if we have clients from other countries wishing to visit Philippines, and when a certain airline, for example, is Naia Airport, in a particular schedule, is not available. You may try other airports available like in Clark or other possible airport in the Philippines. Just be sure the travel time is still manageable. So, planning really matters. Sometimes, transfer of airport is required. So, be knowledgeable of the airports in all places. Connecting flights in the hub cities provide stopover opportunities to travelers under normal conditions no extra charge so a good planner must avoid other expenses if you can plan with less expenses the better in selecting the hubs take into account the political stability of the countries or the city will you choose airport as a hub city or transfer airport when there is political issues or armed conflicts there we need to ensure the safety and security of the passengers transiting or passing by in a certain country or city. Use OAG or Official Airline Guide or individual flight schedule in travel portals. There are plenty of travel portals in the internet offering different tour operations. Again, in today's time, it is easy to plan a travel using internet connections. Next is, keep a note. Keep on searching the travel portals in the internet. Keep communications with the different tourist spots, places, and accommodations like hotels. There is a bigger advantage in travel management when you keep a note and list down possible city pairs offering competitive prices among other travel agencies in town. The don'ts in flight itinerary planning. Number one, avoid crisscrossing. What is crisscrossing? So example, Manila, Bangkok, Hong Kong, Singapore, Manila. So this is not correct. So it should be Manila, Hong Kong, Bangkok, Singapore, Manila, or vice versa. So you have to be knowledgeable of the countries to be offered as the flight itinerary planning. Number two, avoid backtracking. So what is backtracking? Backtracking is like Manila, New Delhi, Bangkok, Colombo, Manila. So this is not correct. It should be Manila, Bangkok, New Delhi, Colombo, 
Manila or vice versa. So again, you must be knowledgeable of the countries to be visited. And number three, the less carriers use, the better. This has more to do with the competitive airfares than anything else. To localize the illustration, let us use map of Bataan. And the client's choices of destinations are Las Casas in Baga, Pawican Conservation Center in Morong, and Bayview and Five Fingers in Maribeles. When a client's origin is in Clark Airport and use the SC Tex Road, it will be a waste of time if you take your client directly to Bagak, then go back to Morong, and then to Maribeles. There is criss crossing here. And there will be backtracking if you take your client first to the farthest place like Maribeles and then visit other places in a backward travel. This may work also but remember, emergency or fortuitous event like heavy traffic and other road or other obstacles could happen anytime where you may consume much of the time traveling. So if you're going straight to the farthest one, you may end up consuming the time and visiting nothing because you travel the places in a backward way so better to visit what comes first along the way so it could be Morong then Bagak then Maribeles Twenty-four hour time and time zone the arrival and departure time of the airlines are always expressed in local time. So when we say local time, it is the time in that particular country. Like for example, the client arrives in Japan. So the time zone is in Japan. So that will be used, the time in Japan. Another example, the client arrives in Canada. So the time of arrival is according to Canada's time zone and not the international time, okay? Okay, next is convert time using military time. Like for example, 1300 hours is equivalent to 1 p.m. Or 600 hours is equivalent to 6 in the morning. Okay, next is understand international time based on the words 24 time zone like in Korea and Japan. We have one hour difference. Okay. Time zone changes as location of countries change. Remembering your science subject again. There are Pacific time zone, Western time zone, and the like. This is important because you will advise your clients of what time he's going to arrive or is going to depart in a particular country. So you need to inform what is the time zone in every country that he will arrive at or he will depart with. Okay? So you are actually marketing your expertise and when you do it, the clients will be happy in your services. This is how to read the OAG Flight Planner or the Original Airtime Guide. So we have here number one, we call it Departure City. The English spelling of the city of departure, its airtime code, and sign variation from Greenwich Mean Time or what we call GMT. And number two, we have here the Arrival City. Cities serve from the port of departure by through connecting flights. If the city of arrival has more than one airport, the name and the code of each is given. So we have here number three, flight information. Flights are shown in order of departure time. True flights are listed before connecting flights. Some cities are served by connecting flights only. And for number four, up to 14 we have here the key to the toro light information okay we have 
validity, and that is number 15. Flight information is valid between the dates shown. True and connecting flights operating for shorter periods are indicated by first and last date of operation. And we have here days of service. M for Monday, T for Tuesday, W for Wednesday, TH for Thursday, F for Friday, S for Saturday, and Sun for Sunday. Departure and arrival times is number 17 up to number 23. Bold type is used for departure time from the city of origin and arrival at the final destination. Arrival and departure times at transport connection airports are shown. We have here flight number, number 19 and number 21. The two letter L line code is used followed by the light number, like for example, aircraft type number 12, abbreviated side of aircraft. Number 13 is class, the classes of service offered. And number 11, the stops, the number of intermediate stop on each flight. Booking card for travel. The booking card according to Claribel in 2008 is the working form of the operations department travel. It is a complete record of all requirements of the passenger and provides a history of actions taken, confirmation, option dates, and relevant information. Here is an example of a booking card. Last time we had an activity of making a brochure marketing the services offered in a hotel as accommodation. Now you have here the full package of what the travel agency is offering. So this is what a booking card looks like. It may include a promo package for two persons or more persons going to a pair of countries or more countries with hotel accommodations, car rentals, tour agent in all your destinations at a reasonable price. Through this booking card, the clients will book a trip in your travel agency because of the marketing strategies you may state here in your booking card. So, this is a booking card. Later on, you will make your own booking card. This is an example of a reservation form. You may include some details stated here to create a marketable booking card in your activity later. But this portion will be discussed already in your next lesson. So for us to know how to follow the guidelines in filling out and accomplishing the form, here are the parts of the travel form that you should accomplish. So you have the date, the reference number, the name, home address or phone number or email address, company name, address, and contact person if there's any, and then flight itinerary, and then you have the hotel accommodations or sightseeing tours. So these are the details that can be seen in the travel reservation form. Here are the required activities for this lesson. So we have activity A, identification. You are going to identify what is being described in each item. Write the correct answer on the space before the number. Continuation of activity A is word formation. So the direction is, in order to start a travel plan, you must be familiarized with the common terminologies used in traveling. Provide the appropriate meaning of the following acronyms. For activity B is quick write. I have inserted a copy of world map, the map of the Philippines, and map of Bataan in your modules. And please keep all those maps because you're going to use those maps in the next lessons of trouble management cycle. Okay, so the direction is state two countries to offer for a visit. Plan a flight itinerary using a map at your choice. You may use the world map, 
the map of the Philippines or our map in Bataan and make a planner then identify the important factors to be observed in making a plan. Enumerate 10 factors and explain why are these important. So you have to write your answers in 2 to 3 sentences. Note we have a rubric below. Use the scale as your guide to better create your output. This is considered as your performance test in this lesson. For activity C-1, accomplish a booking card for travel, a tour voucher, exchange order, and purchase order. Now, in this module, I have shown you an example of a booking card. Now, remember, you have made or created a brochure in our last lesson. So, this will be easy for you now. For activity C-2, the activity is entitled Create Me. So you're going to prepare a self-help brochure or leaflet on how counter counseling is done. Please be guided with the rubrics on the next page in your module. So for activity C-1 and C-2, we'll use same rubric provided on page 15 of your module to better create your output. You may refer to the uh, example that I have shown you how to make a brochure or leaflet. For activity C1 and activity C2, this is the rubrics to be used. So what is the lesson's personal life application? The lesson is not just about the job in the travel services, but it will help us in our personal situations. In real life, we experience difficulties. Sometimes we need to move in into new places for greener pastures or sometimes situations come that the chronic illness which has to be avoided like what people experience in this time of pandemic caused by the virus COVID-19. People are deciding to move to a safer place. Or sometimes people are displaced due to political, economical struggles or armed conflict, moving to rural from an urban or vice versa. Or sometimes when people experience abuse, they are all deciding to move from one place to another. So whatever it is, we all need to acquire skill in planning for a wise and sound personal travel. Be reminded with the things which must be avoided in traveling. Maybe for fun or for a change of life situation. Before we end our lesson for this week, I want to share you some important words from Elizabeth Birch. There is incredible value in being of service to others. Though travel agencies paid for this, make our clients happy and repeat choosing our services over other agencies. So that's it. Learning is fun. See you on our next video. Be safe at all times. God bless us all.